माय यूट्यूब फैमिली वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल योर टेक डॉक सो गाइज जैसा कि हम जानते हैं एप्पल ने ऑफिशियली अपनी आईफोन 15 सीरीज एंड एप्पल वॉचेस लॉन्च करी है एंड विद दैट एप्पल ने जो अपने डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू इवेंट में जो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम शोकेस करे थे विद ऑल द न्यू फीचर्स दे आर ऑफिशियली नाउ अवेलेबल सो वाइल आई वॉज अपग्रेडिंग माई एप्पल टीवी टू द लेटेस्ट टीवी ओ एस सेवेंटीन आई केम अक्रॉस सम फीचर्स विच वी आर वेरी मच डिलाइटेड एंड ट्रस्ट मी इट इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट अपग्रेड इन ईयर्स that apple has given to its apple tv users so in this video i'll give you a walk through on all the new features that has been added so without wasting any time let's move ahead all right guys so the very first feature as you can see on the screen is now we have got six quick action buttons to select from instead of five not only that if i select any of the quick action button and i scroll up on the screen i'll get a full screen preview of that particular profile so right now it's apple arcade and it is giving me the preview of the entire games which apple has showcased here and uh, i can move forward and see more games as well similarly if i go back and select fitness so whatever fitness features that apple wants us to see it will be published here apple tv if i select all the tv series movies whatever apple wanted to showcase will come up here on the screen so these are very welcoming features here secondly if, if you see on the top right corner of the screen you will see my profile picture and there is a time also appearing on the screen so which is a very good thing that you can see time also on your apple tv itself let's move what else we have so let's say i have to select my control center all i need to do is select this tv icon on the remote for a few seconds and the latest new redesigned control center has appeared so what else features do i have in this control center i can obviously power off my apple tv from here i can select my uh, whatever audio output or the airplay output i wanted to select i have a home pod with me i can select from here i have any speaker which has got an airplay support i can select from here so this is there then i have got the control remote controls whatever has been added to play any apple arcade games or whatever i can see from here then i have got my accessibility settings which i quickly change from here i can also go into the privacy features or restriction features and i can go and select those next let's say i am watching my apple tv late at night and i want okay after half an hour or so i should be sleeping and it should close on its own so i can select the timer that let's say from 15 minutes to 2 hours whatever time i want to push in here i can change the profile let's say it's now do not disturb i can also change the wifi profile to move up i'll give the home kit option so all the home kit supported device will start popping up here for example if i have a philips hue bulb it will show here i have any camera that supports home kit will come up here and i can select it and watch the entire camera screen on my apple tv from here also if you see on the profile section of it right now it is selected my profile so let's say on my profile i have got my uh, airplay system that is a sono speaker which is connected uh, here or my personal airpods which are connected here similarly if megha the other user who is using the apple tv now whatever profiling whatever uh, devices that she has automatically get synced onto this apple tv so this is again a very good feature from apple you can also wake the apple tv from the phone or whatever device you are using so it's not a must that everyone should have a remote to select the profile so for example i have my ipad here all i need to do is select my control center and you see there is a remote button here i'll click here and you will see that my tv will start get connected to the living room which is the name of my apple tv here so now i can control the apple tv from my ipad itself let's say i lost my remote so you see there is this find button all i need to do is click on the find feature and once i select on the find it will start giving me a haptic feedback just like we used to get it on the air tag but one thing to notice here it's not a u1 chip that is there in the latest apple tv remote it will give me a feature that okay your remote is nearby and as soon as you just bring this remote nearby it will start popping up that okay it is now available with you so you can select and use this feature to find out the apple tv remote if it is nearby or you lost it somewhere in your couch or something so this is another great feature that apple has recently released apple tv 4k now supports dolby vision 8.1 
so users now get a more cinematic visual experience with dynamic metadata over a broader range of movies and TV shows. When paired to the HomePod second generation, you can take advantage of a feature known as enhanced dialogue. With sound effects and music, it sometimes becomes difficult to hear dialogues, but when paired together with a HomePod, they both use machine learning and separate dialogues from background noise, making a truly immersive home theater like experience. The biggest and the best feature that Apple came up with this year is the introduction of FaceTime on your Apple TV. The way it works is you select FaceTime from Apple TV and it will show you your account. From here, you can pick which device you want to use and then give permissions to it. So I can click my iPhone or my iPad and it will become my continuity camera. Now, when you use FaceTime through your device, you also get center stage. So it will keep you in the frame and if someone else adds in it, it will widen up that shot. The FaceTime can also be used with multiple people. So you can also do share play with it and have a couple of people watching the same show. Now later this year, it's going to support Webex and Zoom along with other third party software. So you can have your conference calls attended on the Apple TV itself. Apple Music Sync. This next feature allows you to convert your Apple TV 4K into a karaoke machine. With Apple Music Sync, you can adjust the vocals of supported song so that you can become the lead singer. For this, you need an Apple TV 4K third generation, latest TV OS, and an Apple Music subscription. For the song playing in Apple Music catalog, press the menu button on your Apple TV remote and select the lyrics button at the bottom of the screen to see the lyrics line by line and beat by beat. Now select the mic button to start the Apple Music Sing. If you don't see it, the song isn't available yet. To adjust the vocal level, use the volume button on the Apple TV remote like this. Finally, we have new enhancements to the Apple Fitness Plus as well. So now you may see we have custom plans which is a new way of Fitness Plus subscribers to receive custom workouts or meditation schedules based on the day, duration, workout time and more. There is also a feature known as Stacks which allows you to select multiple workouts or meditation that way you can have them played back to back in a queue. There is also a feature called as Audio Focus which allows you to give priority of the music over the trainer's voice and vice versa. So guys, this was an overview to the TV OS 17, the biggest update to come to the Apple TV in years with features like FaceTime, VPN support, enhanced dialogue, find my remote and much more. If you like the video and confused whether you should upgrade to the latest Apple TV 4K, check out my other video from the link below, which covers the complete unboxing setup and few do's and don'ts to consider while buying the new Apple TV. If you like this one, I would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you. See you in the next one.